So cool. The alleged insane woman fired to the ground by owners of the damaged vehicles as punishment for willfully destroying the vehicles. It was gathered that owners of the affected vehicles and other persons gave the woman the beating of her life. Some policemen who arrived at the scene prevailed on the owners of the vehicles to untie the woman. Narrating the ROD, owners of the vehicles said the woman had earlier approached them demanding for money but declined to give her money. They expressed shock that the woman, out of anger, smashed the windscreen of their vehicles. We were busy in a meeting in the office, all of a sudden to hear a shout that vehicles were smashed. Two back windscreens completely damaged. From the state government about this, it is not idea that lunatic, mad men and women should be kept on the streets. It is their duty to move them, take, take them to their home, so that these things will not repeat themselves. When we came downstairs now, we found out that about two of these, look at one, this, this is one, this is another one, have been broken by the lady. We are told that she came here to request for money, but since they didn't give her money, she said she will come back. So I'm sure this is the result. On her part, the alleged insane woman who identified herself as Good News Oba could not explain what prompted her to carry out the action. She however said that it was hunger that made her to demand money from the owners of the damaged vehicles. It was from Mesa Centra Iroa that I came here to Edo here and went to Ora. It is God who sent me to deliver his message to his children. I'm always moving about requesting for people to help me to eat. This is how I used to request for food and clothes and putting on. Wellington Hakodeja reporting.